and it got lyrics. It was uh, made into a metal song, and it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. It's one of the best songs in the album, um, which is cool. Uh, so give it a listen if you want. Uh, that album's really good. It's called The Devil May Cry HR slash HM Arrange. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but uh, that's what it is. Also, this is probably the dumbest secret mission location in the game. Interact with this wall. There's no... There's nothing telling you that you can do that. Find the hidden bangle that resides in the secret corridor. Alright, so this, mission, this secret mission is actually pretty long. Uh, but what do you do? Come all the way through here. Uh, it's sort of like a labyrinth through here. Anyway, we've got to deal with nobodies here, but uh, if you just air raid them, they don't stand a chance. Anyway, yeah, that's a blue orb there. You don't get a blue orb fragment at the end of this one, you just get a blue orb. Which is strange. Uh, and you get it midway through the mission here, so we could just leave if we wanted. <laughs> Um, but we wouldn't get the real reward at the end of this mission, which, if I'm honest, isn't that great. Um, which is the hidden bangle, which we saw in the intro there. Uh, which I've not actually used myself before. Let's get rid of you. I'm not taking any chances with nobodies. They're just so annoying to do. And it's just so quick to get rid of them that way. Also, there's a little. There's a sample in this song. Yeah, we're hearing it right now. That. I can't exactly do it with my mouth, but. Uh, that sample is used in the uh, the title screen for Metroid Prime Hunters, and it's just whenever I hear this song, that's all I think of is you know, the Metroid Prime Hunters title screen. And it's strange, I guess they used a pretty similar sample pack. But uh, okay. <laughs> Get angry, Dante looks going up the hill like that. So anyway, you want to go through here. And now we end up in a place that uses the Bowser Roar. Yeah, that's Bowser's Roar. Uh, we need to take this thing down. Doesn't seem like it, but yes, you can kill it. Uh, and it will, it will take quite a while um, to take this thing down. So it's not immediately obvious that you can kill it, but you can. Uh, so, unless I'm misremembering, you know, because I'm, I remember it being not obvious that you can kill this thing. Uh, you don't have to climb up to the top layer, I don't think, you just have to kill this guy. So if we, can we taunt him? No. So normally, if this sound, of, if, uh, this sound effect plays, this... My clank sound effect means you're not actually damaging the enemy. Uh, but we are. Okay, well... Maybe I am misremembering and you don't go... For well, no, because you can't go any further up here, so... The reason that's there, those platforms, is because that's for later. Because uh, this environment is reused from a mission that's coming up. Um, and there's normally platforms up there, but they just got rid of them for this secret area. Okay, maybe I am missing something. That's where we came from. Also, yeah, you can't get hurt by stepping on this. Uh, I don't think he's actually damaged if you hit this. Unless he is, and I'm just not remembering right, because I remember this just being a red orb stone. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe now he's vulnerable? Oh, we broke that. That's very loud. <laughs> that bows a roar. So 
so he should be able to go down now. Oh, that's what you have to do. You have to stinger him. That's right. I remember being super cryptic. So you just have to spam stinger on him and eventually he'll go down. Just give it a bit in between three or four stingers because he's going to attack again. So it may not seem like it, but he will go down. weird thing. <laughs> I always forget about this. There we go. Finally. But it's not over yet. Because now we've got to deal with more, more of uh, these frosts. So let's just do the thing. They realistically should not be thriving in this environment. They really shouldn't be. You know, just... Just, just, just thinking about this for a second. You know, uh, this is this looks pretty hot. Uh, I'm gonna assume anyway. Bastard's waiting. Yeah, fantastic. Heal yourself. Why not? There's a lot of invincibility frames during that. Doing it again! No, he's, he's doing the teleport thing. Yeah, these enemies suck. <laughs> I hate dealing with them. They just don't die. They heal themselves and they just don't stagger. They're the best. Mm. Action game enemies that don't stagger are my favourite. Absolutely my favourite. I love them because I love to, you know, just be ignored when I'm hitting them. Which is why Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance is my favourite game. Mmm, love ki uh, Dream Drop Distance. <laughs> Dream Drop Distance isn't my least favourite Kingdom Hearts. But, because that still goes to uh, China Memories, or re China Memories, but... God, I just hate how Dream Drop Distance is so arrogant and just a waste of time. Stop healing yourself, Jesus. And I mean, I, I still hate Recoded more than Dream Drop Distance, but God. Finally, Jesus Christ. Uh, Frost's are worse than I remember. Okay, now that activates these platforms. So this is normal, this is the final secret mission. Um, which is why it's so involved and takes a little bit. Um, normally it doesn't... Well, normally secret missions only take about uh, like a minute, two minutes. This one's been going on for quite a bit longer than that, so... Jump on these eye platforms. Uh, this one as well. Do ah, <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> I do like this song though. This song's very good. It's very climactic. It feels like a rush to kill Mundus, you know. It it feels very fine. All right, so don't overstep that. Go over here grab the hidden or the bangle of time a mysterious wristband that has the power to stop time and that does it there we go that took forever but there we go all right so i did one secret mission that was the final one so there you go i can't afford anything anyway we go through this door so the underworld isn't very big um we, our objective is to open that door, because that's the door that leads to Moondus' room. Uh, his bedroom. <laughs> um, so we need to break a few things. And uh, we'll eventually get there. I don't think there's any more blue orb fragments in the game, actually. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, but anyway, now we're going back, we go back into this room. Um, we go to the left here. Now this is open. I still don't have spider equipped because spider is just not 
viable. <laughs> it's uh, not good in tournaments. DMC PvP tournaments, as you know. Alright, so this part of the underworld is it's kind of annoying. So these little things here, these vines, uh, suck because if you if they latch onto you, which they will constantly do, so you have to constantly whack them off, they will do an arse load of damage if you let them. So don't take any chances with them. So yeah, careful with them. Oh, we're just fighting nobody, so even now... See, he just, he doesn't stagger, so... God. <laughs> Sparta is such garbage. See, he just doesn't react to my sword swings at all. I hate nobodies. Back to Alistar. Ifrit's also good, but there may as well be no other weapons in this game. See, that took care of him. Those two grenade shots took care of the rest of him. Also, yeah, don't stand still around here, because then this little demon claw will come and get you. Sparta is just... By the time you get it as well, it's just useless. If it had Devil Trigger and it had everything that Alistair had, plus... Well, I mean, it already has the longer reach stuff, right? But it's just like, you know, it's such a downgrade. Oh, you're not done. Now you are. See? Grenade gun just cleans house. It's really good. Alright, so let's grab this. Which way did I come from? That's the way I came from, so we're going this way. Don't even think about it, you bastards. <laughs> Don't even don't even think about playing around. Oh yeah, right. The the mysterious bangle. Where is it? Bangle of time. There it is. Mysterious wristband that has the power to stop time. So you can wear it, but I believe it uses up Devil Trigger, uh, and it, it just freezes time. I've never actually used it myself, if I'm honest, because it's not. Well, actually, I don't know if it's useful or not. Let's actually use it here. Sure, let's wear it. Oh, that's right, it replaces your uh, Devil Trigger with um, this. This is actually a concept that's sort of used again uh, in DMC3 with the Quicksilver uh, style. But uh, here it's just an item. It's not very useful. I wonder, can you use this when you have Sparta equipped? No. Wow. What garbage. <laughs> See, maybe maybe they could have made it, you know, somewhat... Made Sparta somewhat useful if you could only use the Bangle of Time with Sparta equipped. But no, you can't. Why would you equip Sparta? <laughs> There's no reason to. Aside from the longer reach, which isn't that necessary. Because that's what the uh, guns are for. So anyway, now we're up here. Yeah, this, this room looks familiar. We've got some plasmas here. It's actually the only other appearance uh, on normal mode, at least. They are not very nice to deal with, so... Did that kill him? I think it did, but I don't know where he dropped his stuff. Oh, in the lava, go figure. Yeah, heal me up. Oh, that's still lava. Alright, so now we burp, 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 activate that, and these platforms start to rise. So this is just a standard, um, red orb stone. Yes, yeah, so that doesn't actually activate anything, despite the fact that it has the same look as the stuff that does activate things. 
I reckon they should have just made them a different colour. I would have cleared a bit of confusion. I feel at least. Alright, let's head up here. Quick uh, strat to get through those doors. They're not a challenge, you just slash them open and then you walk through. But if you uh, slash them and then you quickly uh, stinger, you can save quite a few frames. Uh, you know, you can get through them very quickly. Alright, so now there's. I guess we give the door a heart attack, and now all these hands start to disappear. There's quite a few of them, so. Let's take a bit. Alright, and that's the end of the mission. Mission clear. B rank. Okay, so we're about to fight the final boss here. Um, so, get excited! <laughs> this final boss is garbage, but, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting. So, let's get to it. Legendary battle. No mission description. Nothing here. Do I actually want to buy a holy water for this first phase of the boss because it's just garbage? No, I've got holy water, so I'll just use the ones I have. You may think I thought you weren't. I thought you weren't going to use items. I'm not. Not healing items, at least, um, or untouchables. But holy waters, I'll just use for this first phase of the boss because it just sucks. You know, what? Uh, we can we can buy a round trip. Why not? Actually, be pretty helpful. Right, legendary battle time. So, get up here, and this is Mundus. Very holy, strangely enough. Strange fate, isn't it? Strange and ironic that it will end the same way. I don't know why Dante has some outline on him. Has impaled again. So sad that humans will always be humans. No more. Has the spot of blood been spoiled over the ages? So Trish wasn't exactly tied up that entire time, strangely enough. Trish! No! Useless scum. Failure is one thing, but taking an odd behavior like that. What is the matter? It is time to end your pitiful life. So Dante's pissed. So now we have unlocked access to Devil Trigger with Sparta. I actually forgot about that and <laughs> I was complaining about not having it earlier. Um, which you still don't. Even if you beat the game and come back through it uh, and gets, you know, Sparta doesn't have Devil Trigger. Uh, which sucks because you can only use it for this final fight. Anyway, time to fight Mundus. Alright, so, remember the action game we were playing? First we've got a cutscene. Them, I see the same light as in Sparta's eyes. 
why my mother? That useless being? If you need a mother, I can create it. As many as you want. Just like I created Trish. Silence! Anyway, as I was saying, remember the action game we were playing? Also, here's Devil Trigger with Sparta, and actually turns us into Sparta. So that's cool. Anyway, again, as I was saying, remember the action game we were playing? How do you feel about doing a stupid on rail shooter? This sucks. <laughs> this is like my least favourite part of this game is for the first phase of this final boss, because god knows this isn't the end, you have to do this on-rail shooter, um, and it's the worst, especially on Dante Must Die. Also, if you want, uh, try out a turbo. Oh, this attack sucks. I don't know. Well, I dodged it. Well, I don't know how to dodge it, but I did there, strangely enough. But what you have to do, you have to shoot down these four pillars. And now you can actually start to hurt Mobius himself. Alright. So now, once you've got Devil Trigger built up, go ahead and attack him. It does a ton of damage. There's some sort of special trick you can do where you can attack him twice. Uh, well, or the animation for the... Devil Trigger attack hits twice. I mm, can't remember how you're supposed to do it though. So once he curls up like this, he will uh, go off to the end of the screen again and he'll go, okay, enough. It's, it's time to restart the thing all over again. Uh, on Dante Must Die, this sucks, who would have thought, but uh, it's also. He takes such little damage, and you really need to rely on like the double, uh, or like the double hit you can do with the uh, double trigger attack, which is so hard to do. Um, kind of just have to hope it happens. And uh, I was actually I wasn't thinking of holy waters. I was thinking of devil stars are what you want to use for this fight. If you just want to use them to get devil's trigger back over and over, and then use the double trigger attack, you can do that. And you can use the Devil Trigger attack from all the way back at the other end of the screen, by the way. 